Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Drone Readings. This reading will be for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, for the upcoming week of January 13th, 2020. On the third, or the, yeah, 13th of the 13th, we have Venus enters Pisces. So, again, we need deep in cuffing season. Some people still about that Valentine's Day life and celebrate all that. Keep in mind that things may not be as they seem. When it comes to romance, people could be not who they appear to be. Situations could be not as they appear to be, right? Even if the person is amazing, they may be on something else. So just keep that in mind. Also, Mercury moves into Aquarius on the 16th. So people could just have unique ways of expressing themselves. Also, you should express yourself, right? To the best of your... Um, of your soul's ability, right? Not just your, your mind's ability, what's logical, but of in the way that suits you, right? In conventional ways, not unconventionality. What are the major things for my fire signs for the upcoming week of January 13th, 2020, please? That also means in love, people could be expressing themselves in unique ways, too. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> All right, fire signs. Ooh. That's beautiful. Take a picture. Click, click. Y'all got success. Okay, angel number 29, 29. Look at the fire sign. See if it resonates. That's success. Two, six. I've never seen that ever. Two out of the three cards. First and the second one. Success, success. So that just is enough said. I love that. So that means last week, remember, it was be, being patient with an authority figure. That's paying out. That's working out for y'all. Then y'all got the one circle's pearl. Taking initiative. This is all, all this is about success and money commerce she is doing it money is coming to her fire signs she has abundance now she's looking on to the next thing she's now she's trying to make sure that her heart is together right now she's looking like okay now how does the universe feel about me now how do how does my romantic life look because clearly money is not something that she's worried about her business all of that so if you're not in that energy right now you will be soon and you should claim it because the cards are definitely there the message is, is clear you could have it all if you want it. Okay, four wine loot. Happiness, joy. I love that. Success, joy, happiness, and stability. Music. Some of you could um, be dealing with the musician. It could always be literal, an older man or musician. But this is also just about building stability and joy in partnerships. Right? Success. It's like y'all, all y'all dreams are coming true. Fire signs. I love this. Five bamboo lotus about change, but a rebirth, a change in how you do things, a change in how you approach success, a change in even probably how you define success even. Because look, this baby has nothing. She's just reaching up and she's in a mode of accepting everything and receiving. That is the energy that we're in. She's already come out of the mud. This is healing energy. So joy and healing, success in those areas and through those areas. And then nine wine heaven. So completions, divine completions, the end of a cycle. Wow. That's interesting having, this is definitely the circle of life, the cycle of life. You have an old man, then a baby, and then a divine ending. So some of y'all could be wrapping up cycles of single, <laughs> single, um, or just wrapping up a cycle, just dealing with your inner child, right? Changes that are coming, all the work that we've been doing on our inner child with these eclipses, right? And things just wrapping up. You passed the test. Look like fire signs. These are divine completions. Wow. Two men and one girl. All these men. Sacrifices. Okay. So it's still work to be done. But yeah, on the right track. Two circles time. And clarifying the second success card. So again, partnerships. Success. Your mentality, again, if you're not having success in partnerships, the energy is there. So you're, you need to set your mentality for it so that you can reap your, reap the benefits. This is The energy is here. Why not grab it, right? Why not bring it into manifestation? But with the pine card, it's about stability. It's about a younger guy. It's about a writing. It's about, again, communicating, self-expression. But success in that, taking advantage of the Mercury and Aquarius energy, doing things a little differently. Three circles, Phoenix, rising from the ashes. A lot of joy and happiness. Okay, what? Okay, I had to deal with some stuff, but guess what? Now everything is working in my favor. So whatever that authority figure or whatever you were going up against, 
authority figure is loosely said that could have been um a police officer it could have been you know any person a boss anybody older than you you're rising from it and you're learning from it as well and you laughing the success is there money is coming all of that you literally i just want to keep saying you passed the test two wine sword so the sacrifices right that have to be made in order for these completions to really complete there's still a sacrifice that you have to make still one more part that you haven't finished yet and that's why you got these two success and then you got her she's about um success as well the pearl and she's about abundance but she's still looking over her shoulder so I feel like y'all still are not 100%, but it's not because the universe don't want it. Bam. It's because you are still not 100% sure of yourself. There's still some little thing that you're working on. Okay, so the one wine entering, new beginnings. Look, it looks like her. She's walking through new beginnings. Clearly. Taking the initiative. That's that one. These ones being bold, walking through getting ready for this Chinese New Year, this Lunar New Year, right? The real New Year. <laughs> Walking through these doors could be with a person. Yes, there are hints of romance here. It's not heavily influenced by romance, but there are hints of it here. Seven bamboo tortoise, being patient, listening to the divine. Again, taking it everything step by step resting on your laurels what they tell you not to do that came up for another reason too sometimes you have to rest you have to look at everything that you've accomplished everything that you've been through that's how you get the energy to keep going right to stand up that's how they do you just look and survey your kingdom or survey the damage that you've survived because guess what you're still here and that is cause for celebration in and of itself the last card you got is a beautiful center card success i love that everything is right on the money and this has to do with love but there's a sacrifice that has to be made on some level it may not necessarily have to do with love it could be sacrificing the time that you put into working or your business or yourself for romance or vice versa but either way the success that is coming to you is beautiful and it's yours and it's hard earned but there's still a small price that you got to pay right it's like taxes it's like getting a new car or buying a new house and the down payment all of the huge expenditures have already been paid but then it's like okay now you just gotta pay taxes on it which is just it's trivial compared to the amount that you've already paid but it's still got to be paid nevertheless beautiful small sacrifice really it's a small thing all right back to the fortune telling book fire signs and we are going to start with aries why not Three of diamonds. An emotional encounter, Aries. Ooh, interesting. If you are studying for exams, you will pass. I told y'all that. <laughs> An influential person is singing your praises and may persuade you to begin a new project that will bring you a lot of respect. You will celebrate in March as well as receive good news by phone. Reverse. Your hunches are right about distancing yourself from unpleasant people and places. That reverse shouldn't be a surprise because remember I told you with Venus in Pisces, right? Things may not be as they seem. So you may be distancing yourself from a love interest that is not right. That's okay. The energies are right for that. An emotional encounter. This is really interesting too with Aries because Aries aren't typically emotional. My moon is in Aries. So, hey, hey, don't get offended. I already know. Um, but it's saying that the success that the general reading said has been hard earned and it's also saying that it's also being acknowledged by other people people in higher places so that's what's up all right next up we have sagittarius baby eight of diamonds Ooh, brilliant opportunity, Sagittarius. Considerable profits are in store for you. They require you to take more responsibility for your own resources or the finances of someone else or someone close. Good news removes doubt. Cash your net wide and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. You have a holiday to look forward to in August. Someone reverse. Someone may try to undermine your confidence, right? Because I told you that. That's no surprise. No surprise. Because I told you with the two success cards as the first and the second, that I've never seen that. 
So you got it, you own it. Even if you don't feel it yet, the energy is there. So other people can see that that you are stepping into it before you even do. That happens sometimes. And that could be them trying to undermine you, right? Because they feel it, they feel the shift. But the opportunities that are coming for you, I told you that with the one wine entering, y'all are taking advantage of that. But again, keep in mind, a sacrifice will have to be made, right? Particularly as it comes to your finances, your financial situation, but the success is already there. It's done. Is that Sagittarius? All right, last but not least, Leo. Eight of Hearts. Okay. Leo, romantic liaisons and marriage. Oh, wow. A party or celebration yields a romantic encounter that may lead to a long term relationship and thoughts of marriage. Family bonds are reinforced and disagreements forgiven. Expect gifts and love tokens. In August, you may have a romantic holiday as a couple or with a group of friends. Reverse. Love is doomed because of insurmountable obstacles. Okay, so Leo, I think it's interesting. August, right? Eight, Leo. That's y'all month anyway, August. So a lot of luck could be coming to you then. Also, if it's reverse, love is doomed because of insurmountable ob obstacles. That's, again, it won't be something that blindsides you. Because with you know that Mercury is in Pisces. I just keep saying that because a lot of people are going to get their feelings hurt. But not you, right? Know what things are. Be balanced. Know that you cannot just go into things. Oh, I just met somebody on Tinder or whatever y'all use. <laughs> you know, yesterday and he's perfect, right? Because you know the energy that we're in. And you know that people are taking advantage of the fact that Valentine's Day is coming. Right? So a lot of people are kind of desperate, kind of thirsty. So there are other people who are who capitalize on that too so keep that in mind a party or celebration yields a romantic encounter so on the flip <laughs> it can also work out very well for you right leo it's not to say i'm not saying be scared of love y'all run away i'm saying just use your intuition use your mind and your heart right just don't run into things family bonds are reinforced and disagreements are given so this is beautiful for you overall um because the general reading was talking about money issues that you have with somebody with money relationships or a beef that you have with your family involving money could be squashed so that's how that goes all right y'all thank you for listening have a good week peace out